Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope everything's going great for you this week. Lately, I've been asked a couple of times, how come sometimes when I put text in my join file, it asks me for a text height, and then other times it doesn't? What's up with that? Now, I know a bunch of you out there know the answer to that question has to do with text styles. But for the rest of you that do not know the answer to that question, now let me give you a quick refresher on all things textiles, at least when it comes to controlling text height. Okay, all right, so uh, textiles are located underneath the annotate tab on the ribbon. Right now I'm in the standard text style, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on here. You'll see that I get a nice view of the gallery of all the textiles that I currently have in this drawing file. You can see there are quite a few of them. I'm gonna go to manage text styles. This will take me to the text style manager. All right, so you can see I do have a lot of text styles in here, but notice as I go through this list, you will see as I go through here, all of the text heights for these particular styles are set to zero. Now when a text style has a height set to zero, it doesn't mean the height's going to actually be zero because let's face it, that would be invisible. <laughs> be very tiny. <laughs> that just means that it's flexible. That when you go into text, into D text or into M text, you have the ability to easily change the text height. And in D text, it will prompt you for a text height. But once you set a specific height here, well then it stays that way. You will not be prompt. It's going to assume that you want to use that text height whenever you're using that text style. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna make a new text style. And let's call it, um, let's call it, we'll call it, I'll be narcissistic right now. I like to think I'm not, but let's, for now I will be. I'm called Lynn. I'm gonna make it current, all right? And then for the Lynn text style, oh, let's pick a, let's do a fun, how about uh, country blueprint? I've always liked that one. And I'm gonna set a height. I'm gonna set a height of 20. So that's gonna cement that text height. So whenever I go into my text commands, it's gonna assume I wanna use a text height of 20. I'm gonna say apply. Okay, let's get out of here, right? Let's go into D text. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick where I want that text to go. And I'm gonna do the rotation angle. Did it ask me for a text height? No, it's making an assumption that I wanna use a text height of what? Of 20, all right? So I'm just gonna put, you know, hello. And then I'll go ahead and hit a couple enters to get out of there. Gonna zoom in on that. Now if I, if I click on that and I go into properties, it should tell me I have a height of 20, and I do. Now I can come over here and I can change that. I can make it a lot bigger without any problems at all. It will let me modify it after the fact, but just realize whenever I use that Lin text style, it's going to default to 20. If I go into M text, into regular text, paragraph text, same deal. Take a look at the screen. It wants to make it all 20. Height of 20, right? It assumes that. I can modify it once again after the fact, but nevertheless, it's going to assume that I want to always have a height of 20 whenever I'm using the Lin textile. Now, some people use this to their advantage. When you have specific standard heights that you need to use, a lot of people make text styles of those specific heights. I might have a Lin 20, a Lin 30, a Lin 40, a Lin 50, and then I would use those specific text styles whenever I need text of that height because I'm lazy. I don't want to do any extra steps. If I don't have to answer text height, that's removing one pick from my life that I love, right? <laughs> and I'm lazy, let's face it. <laughs> I told you that. So give text styles a try. Set them up to work the way you work. You can actually get very, very efficient by setting specific text heights. Or if you love your flexibility and you have a fear of text height commitment, you know who you are, don't do it. Leave it all at zero. All right, so hope you have a great week, and I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Take care.